The academic year is underway and at Karonga Special Education School in Epping, even entering the grounds is a learning opportunity. The lesson is road safety and the teacher is a working pedestrian crossing. Young Madison is starting kindy at Karonga School where these traffic lights will be her first lesson every day. Press the button. Good girl, all done. A school for moderately to severely intellectually and physically disabled students. This lesson at Karonga is taught by the only set of working traffic lights inside a New South Wales school. Williams away. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. It gives him a chance to uh, practice safety with the road in circumstances they might not be able to readily access in their day-to-day -day life. The lights erected late last year. The idea sparked over concerns about students learning to travel safely. Raymond, stop. That's it. We said, well, you know, what exactly would make a difference? And they said, well, to be able to practice in a safe environment road crossing. Because we're really frightened that Maddie might get away one day when we're not trying to hang on to her. Boom, cross the road. She sees this, she'll stop. She knows. It's just terrific. That learning to live Karonga ethos extends to other facilities such as its 360 degree interactive room that also helps train for travel created through grants from the local Epping Club. I mean, it's just basically giving the kids a real experience of what, you know, training for life, for real life. And a new mini Woolies to help with shopping skills will open tomorrow. We're just really fortunate to work with some great people and really genuine interest, not tokenism. At Epping, Mike Dalton, Nine News.